Hi there, so I have chosen the medical condition of eosinophilic ulcers. Eosinophilic ulcers are part of a larger disease group called eosinophilic granuloma complex. This term refers to a group of skin diseases of cats that include not only the eosinophilic ulcers, but also lesions called eosinophilic plaque, which is usually found on the abdomen and thighs and eosinophilic granulomas, which are linear uh, of the caudal thighs, face, tongue, and palate, and including swollen lower lips and chin. These lesions are normally not itchy, but can be quite bothersome. These are inflammatory lesions that often affect the same cat and all respond to the same type of therapy and may have that same underlying cause. Eosinophilic ulcers are normally associated with allergies or parasites. The body will react inappropriately and release and releases allergy e eosinophils when not needed. Diagnosis is based is made based on clinical signs, skin scrapings with microscopic analysis to identify underlying cause due to parasites. A swab from the ear with microscopic analysis to rule out ear mites might also be recommended. Investigation of the underlying allergic cause is also essential and may include a hypoallergenic diet trial or an intradermal allergy testing for pollen and or dust allergies. Eosinophilic ulcers are sometimes hard to diagnose, especially if it leads to a food allergy. In some cases, the cat can also present clinical signs of allergic otitis, pru pruritus, and lick granul granuloma. Successful treatment depends on determining and treating the underlying hypersensitivity. Steroid medications such as prednisone may be prescribed to help the lesions regress while the underlying allergy is addressed. Now, this is Boo Boo, and he was showing clinical signs for all of the mentioned. He would have the eosinophilic ulcer on his bottom lip. Uh, he also ended up with allergic otitis, as well as the lick granuloma on his belly. Um, we did do the diet trial. Uh, we are actually in the middle of uh, doing the hypoallergenic diet trial. Uh, he also was taken to the vet where he was... Uh, where they took a swab out of his ear to rule out ear mites. That test came back negative. Uh, it also it did find, however, uh, the uh, that he had a severe ear infection due to the uh, food allergy, and he also um, has been actually doing very well uh, with, on the diet trial. Uh, with the hypoallergenic allergenic diet trial. Uh, his ears have actually cleared up very well. They're not hot to feel. There is no yellow crustiness on the inside or brown uh, pus looking uh, debris coming out of his ear. Also the ulcer that would show up on his, uh, on his bottom lip has also gone away as well as on his abdomen, oh, hang on, boo -boo. on his abdomen right here, uh, they are starting to crest over and the fur is actually starting to grow back. So basically, even though that uh, they show signs for one, um, it might not be the actual medical condition uh, that they're uh, first being diagnosed with, uh, there could be other underlying causes. Um, it's always good to uh, take, your, take your pet into the vet and have them and discuss uh, other possibilities, other diagnoses, uh, other, other possibilities of what the underlying, initial underlying cause could be.